All right. God bless you. This is the servant of Jesus Christ. My name is Robert Dunlap. Coming unto you, not preaching Robert Dunlap, but preaching Jesus Christ. All right. We have a question. And I say, send in your question. We ask all questions with Bible. Every last one of them. With Bible. You don't believe the Bible? What, what book you read from? I, mean, I, I, I deal with this. Now, what book you read from? All right. <clears throat> Talk about a very interesting subject. We, it, 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 and someone sent us a question on it. And that question is not new to me. Because, see, I have, where well, I have a cousin. Hallelujah. And I know he, well, I'm not going to call his name, although I know he don't mind me calling his name, but I have a cousin. You see, boys, let me tell you something. Let me show you something. Let me, tell you, let me show you something. You all stay on the on the surface. You all are not qualified to ask a question. You all can be swayed with every wind and doctor. Because you don't know the scripture. And the reason you don't know the scripture, you don't have a preacher. You don't have, how can they hear without a preacher? Jesus said, the harvest is plenty, but the labor is off you. Jesus said, go and buy by y'all and wet. Jesus said, I send you as sheep among wolves. You don't have a preacher. That's why you don't know the word. That's why you're educated, dumb, educated seminary, denomination, fool, ordained, dumb. You don't know the word of God. Let's get the question. Illuminati. Dr. Clark. Yeah, I think the guy's name is Smith, I think. No, Higgin, Higgin. I think it's John Higgin. John, I think it's John Higgin. My cousin introduced me to all of that. I, my cousin gave me the Illuminati book and told me to read. I read it. And I told him, I said, okay, I, I will read this. Oh, they do good work. They say some good things. Yeah, they do. According to the book, they do. I said, but if they say one thing, the trade to the word of God, that's it. And I read it. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Then they said something that, that contrary to the word of God. That's it. End of discussion. Glory to God. We well versed on all types of doctrines and teachings and religion. Hindu and uh, karma, reincarnation. You know your your, your life. Your, your mess up in this life. Hallelujah! When this life is over, it's a it's a continual circular wheel. When you die, you may come back as a cat or a bird. It's a continual cycle. Or a rabbit. Well, I'm not due to it. I'm not due to it. I'm true to it. We cut our teeth. 
Hallelujah. All this, all the, all this stuff been brought to me. Glory to God. I tell you, I, I take no glory to myself. But all glory to God that is on Jesus. I was talking to my cousin on the 4th of July. And I mentioned to him, I say, I say, I'm not trying to put no flowers on me, but you be on it. Have you ever saw anything on social media like this before? They give you the straight truth without blinking like this before. Have you ever saw anything like me before? He said, no, I haven't. Hallelujah. All glory to God, and I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. God have many. Jesus have many servants. Let's get, let's get to the question. Little bit now. Uh, let, let, let me get to the question. And here is the question. Glory to God. Question is from uh, YouTube, and he says, "Robert Dunlap, question, please. Do you believe in First Timothy five and seven that all fallen angels are locked up? That go to First Timothy five and seven." Over to God. Man, I love I love working with Jesus. First Timothy five and seven. Let's see what the scripture says. Glory to God. Then we got a second part to that. To that question. In first chapter five and seven. Uh it must be second Timothy because that's not say first Timothy five and seven. This is talking about widows. Let me try second Timothy five and seven. Or first Timothy five seven is not dealing with the question. Let me try second Timothy five seven. Okay. Or is it seventeen? Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Okay, five seven. First Timothy five seven. It's not a second Timothy five seven. Look at first Timothy five seven. Oh, is that five seventeen or five seven? Talking about widow. That's the wrong scripture. That's the wrong scripture. Uh, you who wrote me that your your scripture is not aligned with your question. But let's get the scripture. You got Second Timothy five seven. He said, "Do you believe Timothy First Timothy five seven that all fallen angels are locked up?" You maybe this has nothing to do with that. He may be talking about matter of fact. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me get the script that he's talking about.
Six, Second Peter two and four. Uh, let's go with Second Peter two and four. Let's go with Second Peter two and four. Further to the fallen angels. Uh, brother, the scripture you gave me is not correct. Well, let's get the correct scripture. Let go, Second Peter 2 4. No, we're too good. Second Peter 2 4. Look at what it says. For if God spared not the angels that said, the angels. Jesus that see. But cast them down into hell let them live with them in the same dark to be reserved unto judgment, and spare not the old world, but say, nor the eight persons of priests of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turn the sins of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes that condemned them with that overthrow, making them an example to those that after should live ungodly. Oh, where is that? He, you live on God, and he's going to destroy you. God going to destroy you. But let's go to the part of the Verse 4, 2 4, 2 Peter 2 4. If God spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down the hill and live them in the same of Dr. B. was there the church. I believe the scripture. God didn't spare the angels that sin, but he cast them down and live them in the same of Dr. Reserved unto judgment. Jud I believe the Bible. Yes, I believe that. Then we'll follow that. Now, the second part of his question. <clears throat> that all the fallen angels are locked up. I believe the scriptures that the angels just said, what we just read, is locked up, reserved unto judgment. I believe what the Bible said. Now, or do you believe there are still certain fallen angels that are roaming around doing evil deeds? Do you believe these people that are called Illuminati that worship Satan, do you think they are really entertaining for me spirits? All right, let's get to the Illuminati. Then we want to get to the familiar spirits. What is the Illuminati? Well, like I say, my cousin gave me the book to read. Illuminati. According to Wikipedia, the Illuminati is a name given to several groups, both real and fictitious. Let's see if we can get. It is say Illuminati found in May 1st, 1776. Uh, in the 18th century, German thinker uh, uh, Adam Weiss her up would have been stunned if he had known the idea that would one day feel globally Conspiracy theories. The Illuminati Secret Society. They say, they say look on your dollar bill. See the all see it out. You need to go to the Bible. God is the all see it out. God see everything. The symbol of the Isle of Temple, as seen in the one dollar bill, 
had become the lightning rod for conspiracy uh, uh, theories, what well, is the Illuminati? Doctor, politician, actor, musician have been accused of being a uh, members of the shadowy group that supposedly control the whole world. By most of the rules of our fiction, there is a real secret society formed in Bavaria more than two thousand years, two hundred years ago. <sighs> Illuminati. Devil wishes. All right. They say Jay Z Illuminati. The Church of the Illuminati. Everything Illuminati. They control the whole world. Do I still believe it's still falling out of the road around? I believe it's devils, according to the script of devils, demons, evil spirits. Now, familiar spirits. Familiar spirits, listen, familiar spirits are the spirits that you are familiar with. Uh huh. Let's go get that. And all the spirits that the, 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 all that false doctrine and idol of God that they picked up, I believe in Egypt. Let's go get that. Glory to God. For me, your spirit is a false doctrine you're familiar with. Familiar spirits. Here's the definition of familiar. I don't want that. I don't want that. Let's see what familiar spirits is. Leviticus 19.31, I want to get Deuteronomy 18 and 14. The million spirits are the false doctrines and practices that you learned from the heathen that didn't believe God and that served out of God. Deuteronomy 18 14. Glory to God. I'm going somewhere with this. Do you remember 1840? I got you there. Let's start with the uh, 11. Do you remember 1811? Or a charm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That, tear, that shall not be found among you. Anyone that makes his son or daughter to pass through the fire. Or that uses divination. Or observe the time. Or an enchanter or a witch. Or a charm. Or a. Come on out, come on out, Satan. Or a consultant with a mean spirit, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For, for all that do these things and abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before you. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. But these nations. Which thou shalt possess, hearken unto observe the time, unto the Bible. But if for thee, 
the Lord thy God has not suffered thee to do so. These other nations, they the one with part of that mess. Familiar spirits is the spirits, the false spirits, and the false doctrine, and the idol gods that people go to is still the only true and living God. They're familiar spirits. False doctrine you used to. We all born in sin. Eh? We we with human nature, but they don't speak about God nature. They give us cue. That's what me. That's what me in spirit. So it's even a minute. That's what me in spirit. Uh huh. So into the anointing. So in the program. You want a harvest, it, a, a, a greater harvest, increase your financial seed. Child law was still required by God. All, those, all that for me is spirits. False doctrine. See, you see, you don't go, you didn't go to God, you went to the prophet. I need a word, I need a word, so I'm going to the prophet for me and spirit. I know the Bible say this, but pastors say this, so I believe pastor for me in spirit. Not all Illuminati. Illuminati is against the word of God. Your church is against the word of God. Your pastor is against the word of God. Illuminati. Devil wish. Now, I'm, I'm, let me read you some of what God, what Jesus said. Eight chapter of the book of John. Don't, don't you don't you point to Jay Z? They leave Jay Z alone. Jay Z, leave Illuminati alone. You the same way. You Illuminati. Let me show you all. Give me, give me the eight chapter of John. Hallelujah. Let me show you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You Illuminati. John 8. Look what Jesus said. Eight. Thirty-four. Jesus asked me, bread the bread, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. You a little not. You serve and sin. You ain't serving Jesus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Verse 44. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. You Illuminati? First John 3. Don't point it to you. I, want, I think I want First John 3, 8. He didn't commit sin is of the devil. Don't say nothing about no devil wishing me a Illuminati. You that? You could be in sin? You serving the devil? And go a little further. I got your name. All right. I want Romans uh, 6. <laughs> Sometimes we go teach this. If folks ask questions, we give out. They say, I don't, I don't want that. Well, you don't want to answer from the word of God. 6.16, Romans 6.16. Know ye not to whom you yield your servant to obey his service. Ye are to whom you obey, whether sin unto death or be unto right. You Illuminati? You say the servants. 
you Satan disciple. Question answered. That's enough. Glory to God. Hallelujah.